For more on that, let's cross live to Ms. Dulan from the China Institute of, Interna Institute of International Studies. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Ms. Du. So President Xi Jinping said China will work with Indonesia to build a China-Indonesia community with a shared future that has regional and global influence. Help our global audience understand the importance of this term. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, during the term of President Joko Widodo, China-Indonesia relations uh, have developed rapidly, opening a new chapter in jointly building a community with shared future. The two sides have deepened synergy of development strategies, forged a new pattern of bilateral cooperation featuring four-wheel drive covering political, economic, cultural and maritime aspects, and achieved many tangible results. So looking forward to the future, the two countries first need to continue to strengthen close interaction at the top level. And uh, for example, in the past two months, 20 months, the two heads of state uh, have met four times face to face. So we should continue this momentum of close high level exchanges. And second, we should continue to promote our bilateral practical cooperation, uh, for example, in connectivity construction, two countries, twin parks, and other landmark projects of BRI carry out more smart yet smart projects and deepen cooperation in emerging fields, such as digital economy, green economy, new energy, and blue economy. And the third, that uh, we should strengthen our bilateral co coordination on regional and international affairs, especially strengthen collaboration uh, in multilateral mechanisms such as ASEAN, Asia-Pacific Cooperation, G20, uh, to safeguard the common interests of developing countries. Uh, so let's turn to a regional perspective. President Xi Jinping said China is ready to work with Indonesia to uphold ASEAN unity and centrality. We know uh, Indonesia is one of the major economies in the ASEAN bloc. So tell us more about China and ASEAN relations. Yeah, uh, China and Indonesia are both major countries uh, in Asia-Pacific region. And we both insist on independence policy, pursue open and women cooperation, and advocate open multilateralism. Now the world is currently uh, entering a new period of turbulence and transformation, and the Asia-Pacific region is also facing increasing geopolitical tensions and block uh, politics. However, maintaining peace and stability and pursuing development are still the aspirations of most countries, including China and ASEAN. Uh, so, uh, we know that Indonesia is, is the largest country in ASEAN and has a vital influence on ASEAN's policy. And China has always attached great importance to the centrality and constructive role of ASEAN and has been working very hard to work with Indonesia and other ASEAN countries to maintain an open and inclusive regional order. So cooperation between China and ASEAN is very important for promoting the dialogue and the mature trust between China and ASEAN countries and maintaining peace and stability in South China Sea and will also help strengthen the strategic autonomy of regional countries in the context of the intensified big power computation so to avoid uh, the fragmentation in the region. Uh, we know that uh, Indonesian President-elect Prabowo Subianto says he supports a closer relationship with China and Indonesia will stick to the One China policy. What are your expectations uh, on his China policy after he officially takes office? Yeah, uh, we know as uh, Indonesia's defense minister uh, Prabowo has actively cooperated with China. For example, the two countries established two plus two uh, dialogue mechanism. And during the campaign, Prabowo also stated many times that China is a close friend of Indonesia and cooperation between Indonesia and China is very important to Indonesia's development. And Prabowo held the banner of continuing Joko's 
policies. So it can be expected that uh, Prabowo will pursue a pragmatic and friendly policy towards China in the future. And uh, in, the, in his meeting with President Xi, Prabowo expressed his support for developing a closer relations with China. So uh, we believe in the future, Prabowo would continue to consolidate and strengthen the all-round strategic cooperation between China and Indonesia and strengthen the bilateral ties in trade, in investment, infrastructure, construction, and other fields to promote the poverty reduction and the economic development of Indonesia. And the Indonesian new government, uh, we believe, will, is willing to exert greater influence on the international stage. So we believe that the new president will also strengthen coordination and cooperation with China on international and regional affairs to jointly safeguard the stability and the development of Asia-Pacific region and the global south. Thank you very much, Ms. Dulan in Beijing.